channel I hope you're all doing really well so in today's video I'm going to be giving you a little tour of Saints Nursery and um, a lot of people have requested this a lot of people are expecting and obviously want a few tips and tricks on you know what to have in your nursery and things like that um, and this is basically our smallest room in the house in a nutshell, we, when I was pregnant with Saint, we had put a deposit down on a house, we were wanting to move, um, and just with the inflation of like mortgage rates and stuff like that, I was just like, there's no way, you know, we were going to be paying like hundreds of pounds more a month than what we anticipated, and we thought, do you know what, let's just stay put, ride it out, wait till everything calms down, um, and then move house. So I wasn't going to do um, a full like nursery or anything like that, originally we were just going to, you know, accept that we'll probably be moved by the time we'll be six months and going in his own room anyway but if you are pregnant you'll probably understand that nesting feeling that you get is real and I felt like I couldn't like prepare for him I couldn't like you know ha have all his clothes out I couldn't have everything like, like all his nappies put away and um, so I decided to just do it and just obviously do what we can with the space that we've got so if you're expecting another baby and you've got like a smaller you know room in the house maybe it's a box room you've got a smaller nursery and you're thinking how can I fit everything in how can I make it look cute and um, I am really happy with what we come up with it's really cozy it's really cute so if we does end up obviously going in here I know we'll love it and it'll be nice and cozy and relaxed in here so with that being said, I'm going to give you a little tour around, show you all the things that we've got and then I'll just leave everything linked below because off the top of my head, there's not a cat in hell's chance I'm going to remember where everything's from. So if I can remember, I'll tell you. If not, have a look in the description and I'll link everything below for you. So without further ado, if you want to see my nursery tour, then please keep watching. Okay, so in a nutshell, this is what we are working with. It's really cute, really cozy, really neutral vibes. Obviously, we did know we were having a boy, but I'm loving all the neutral vibes at the moment. Um, so this is obviously the doorway. So when you walk in, um, your first thing that you see is obviously his cot and his name above the cot, which is super cute. Um, like you say, we just kept it... Oops, is that going to focus? Let's just see... There we go. So we did keep it like neutral vibes. I wanted it like, you know, I like the little accents of wood, um, neutral colours and then like the white and things like that. I don't know why it keeps losing focus. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, so we went with this cot here. So this is the cot from Oh Baby. Um, it's really cute. Like you say, it's a cot bed as well, but this is a cot bed mini. Um, the reason I went for the cot bed mini is just simply because um, when we had a bigger cot from Mums and Papas with Aubin, I changed it to a cot bed and to be honest he didn't stay in it for too long before he wanted a full size bed so this one is really cute it basically what happens is um when you finish using it as a cot um this side comes off and then there's like another side that you can put on that's basically like two little versions if that makes sense so it's lower to the ground and then you take this one off and there's just a panel that you can replace i'll try and insert for to show you what it would look like um but you can get the bigger cot bed version of this but this is the cot bed mini like you say, it is a smaller room, so I wanted to make sure that I would fit nicely. Um, but yeah, I'm over the moon with this. I absolutely love it. I love the look of it. I love the style of it. Um, and then inside of there, we just went for neutral bed sheets. I literally found this on, I think I literally just Googled neutral cot, uh, mini cot bed sheets. Um, or you could just Google cot, like, because obviously it's the size of a cot. It's not like a mini, if you know what I mean. It's just not a cot bed that you would normally get the same size. Um, so above that, we've got um, his mobile. This is such a beautiful mobile. I actually got this for my friend for her baby and I absolutely loved it. So I got one for Saint. Um, but it's just like, again, quite kind of like cool, calm colours. Um, so you've got like the little elephant, the lion, the zebra, giraffe. Um, what's this in the middle? I don't even know what that is. Cheetah? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this was from Mums and Papas, and like you say, I absolutely love it. It's super cute. Um, it does attach to the side of the um, cot as well. I did get one, so be careful. I did get one that was too small so it didn't fit on so I had to send that back, but I'm glad I did because I prefer this one anyway. So that's his mobile. And then this is the baby monitor we went for this time. Um, just simply because you can attach it to the bed. Um, it's super, you know, movable. You can change the way the head's going. You can bend the... Um you can bend the wire at the back there and um, so you can basically just have it directly over the baby instead of coming from like an angle on a shelf or something like that and um, so yeah and what's good about this one is Michael loved this one because um, with him being obviously at work a lot 
the it connects to your phone so you can connect it on bluetooth and also there is like a monitor that comes with it like a one that i can hold around the house and i don't have to have it connected to my phone so it's basically the best of both you can get the actual you know screen to watch the baby on or you can attach it to your phone so um so far we've been loving this one it's a motorola one so again i will link it if i can find it for you so the curtains, the curtains that we went for are super just lightweight, um, really kind of plain really. Again, obviously I didn't want anything that was going to darken the room and make the space, the space look smaller. Um, so we just went for these quite short ones, um, just a white pole and that is his curtains. I got those from Dunnell. And then over here, we got this little rocking chair, which I absolutely love. I wouldn't even mind one of these in the living room, to be honest. It's so lovely and so affordable for the price. I've seen so many baby rocking chairs, um, you know, nursing chairs and things like that. And I was just like, there was so ridiculously like, you know, six, seven thousand pound. And I just thought, I don't even know how much I'm going to use it. I didn't actually have one with Arbin. So this one is just really cute. Um, it's got that kind of like towel in type look to it and then like the wooden arms um and it's quite comfy to sit in you know like you get what you pay for i'm absolutely over the moon for, with it for what we paid and um, it makes the room look lo lovely and cozy as well and then above that we've got this little light shade so i like that it comes like over the chair so it's a bit like i want to just like a little bit of a reading corner so when i am putting him to sleep um when i put Auburn to bed i put i read his stories in his bed with him but obviously i can't get him the cot <laughs> so i just thought it was a nice little reading corner to cuddle on a night so we sit there, read him a story, get him off to bed and pop him into his cot. Um, and then this shelf, I've been getting a lot of questions about this on Instagram as well. And this, again, is part of the Oh Baby set. So it's just like a rail where you can hang some of his clothes. So again, with it being a smaller nursery, I didn't want to get like a full wardrobe because it would just take up too much space so I went for this instead so it basically is the best of both so I've obviously popped him a few stories on the top there um we can add more if we wanted to but obviously it's not in here yet anyway um and then again you can just add some of his like bigger clothes or you know some of his neutral clothes that you maybe want out on shore um and I just feel like it makes the room look really cute so I've got like his bigger things as well like his coats that obviously if you're going out for a walk and stuff some of his jumpers and things like that so just some of his neutral clothes hanging on there that go with the room nice as well and then moving on to his drawers again it's part of the old baby range so it just comes as like a set with the cot the drawers and the um shelf rail thing um and the drawers are really cute as well so you obviously you get this attachment that goes on the top where you can pop your changer um and then the drawers are really spacious i got these dividers from amazon they're really good because you can just adjust can you see that you can just adjust like the level of them um so they're really handy so a set of three drawers again it's got the wooden legs um just really practical this is the changing space that you can add your whatever changing basket you want or changing um, mat you want on the top. I went for this one. This is the changing kind of mat that I went for, which I absolutely adore. Like it, it's so aesthetically pleasing and it's so comfortable for saying as well. Um, so it comes with this lovely little mattress. So it's got like a lovely mattress on it. So it's really comfortable. Um, and obviously you can just kind of carry it around the house if you wanted to with these little handles um, or you can just keep it in the nursery I tend to keep this one here because I've got other things downstairs what I can use as well um, but I just love the way it went with the room I feel like it really completes kind of like the vibe I'm going for here um, so I'll again link this below because it was from a company on Instagram that I've seen I'm going to link it below for you though because it is beautiful and the quality is incredible and then I've got this little teddy which is from Mamas and Papas that my friend got in um, and then moving on to his name sign so this I think I got off Etsy um, again I'll try and find it like in, in comparison to like sizing and things like that because I know it's quite hard to kind of judge what size you want when you're looking online um, but I feel like this size goes really well with the room it just looks super cute finishes off the wall but I'm sure I just got it from like Etsy or it might have been Amazon one of the two I waited a couple of weeks for it um, but again just goes lovely with the room and then lastly is his lampshade <laughs> this lampshade is so bloody cute and um, it's a, basically a teddy bear theme we went for even though I haven't got many teddy bears I feel like I got carried away with the lampshade and I thought I'm gonna add teddies everywhere but I need to obviously finish it off completely um 
but yeah this is the lampshade it's absolutely adorable i got this from next um and yeah it's just a super cute lampshade it goes with the wicker theme that we've got going on and what i love as well is warm light you've got to have warm light in a baby's room it's just super calming for them super chilled um so yeah, that's basically, in a nutshell, what we're working with here. Okay guys, so that is the finished result of the nursery. Um, like you say, there is things that I would like to add um, here and there, but in a nutshell, this is what we're working with. Um, and I wanted to also add, because I didn't mention in the video as well, the paint that we went for in the bedroom is clay figurine by Valspar. We've actually got this in our living room, in our bedroom, in Orban's bedroom. It's just the perfect neutral in my opinion. Um, so yeah, it's Valspar clay figurine. You can get it mixed up in B&Q if you can obviously get it off the shelf. Um, but yeah, that's basically everything. Like you say, I absolutely love it in here. I find it so cozy, so calm. Um, so I hope you enjoyed and like you say if you are expecting a baby soon and you're planning your nursery um, just massive congratulations it's super exciting um, and get your little nest on get yourself feeling prepared because once that bundle of joy comes you're just so overwhelmed in your newborn bubble that the last thing you're worrying about is decorating so it's always good to plan ahead always good to get the nursery ready and then when they are ready to go in there um, it's available for them and another little tip just to leave on as well sometimes i'll let saint have his naps in his cot um he's two months old now so like you say if we are in the house um, and i'm pottering around upstairs he'll sleep in his cot for his nap and what i found with Auburn is putting him in his cot for a nap and um, just got him used to his room so when we did end up transitioning into his bedroom from obviously the next time we caught in our bedroom um i found that he was so used to his room that it wasn't a big deal anymore because he was napping in there anyway so that's just a little tip to leave you on um if you do plan your nursery and you get your nursery decorated let your baby you know have play time in there and um, nap time in there and things like that if you can if you're in the house um, and like i said just gets them more um used to their surroundings and things like that as well so Thank you so much for watching. Everything that I mentioned will be in the description bar if I can find it and remember, fingers crossed. Um, and my next video will either be um, a postpartum pregnancy, basically like um, clothing haul of what I'm trying to find now. My body's a little bit different to before. Or I'm going to do my morning routine with mum of two. So I'm just trying to get my confidence to do that because a school morning is chaos. But I will try and do it for you. Um, and then I'll be doing more like baby nighttime routines and things like that once we've got one set. So like you say, if you do want to hear more like kind of mum content, vlogs, clothing hauls and things like that. I would massively appreciate if you could like and subscribe. Um, share this video with anyone that you think might enjoy it. Um, and until next time, I'll speak to you soon. Bye!